Okay. Just a dream. In a hurry. Where did you pick up that nasty habit? Timmy does it. Ma, I don't do it when I sleep over to the people's houses. That's good. I gotta go. Oh, no, breakfast! In a hurry. So what's your big rush? Senior field trip. Toast. What's wrong? I dreamed Timmy was here last night. Yeah, I miss his calls too, but he's got Carolyn now, okay? Oh, it wasn't about missing him. Hey, <laughs> talk to me. Uh, it was just a, an odd dream. It shook me up, that's all. I'm all right. Just call him, you feel better. <laughs> I don't even know his number. Did he tell you where he was staying? Just someplace outside Chicago, wherever the storm damage is the worst. You know what? I bet you he's in some flea bag motel that doesn't even have a phone. <laughs> we'll call Carolyn. I don't, I don't want to bother her. <laughs> Off to slay the dragon. Bye. Bye. I'm fine. It's Timmy I'm worried about. He hasn't called us for weeks. That's just not like him. Have you heard from him? I've been meaning to call you. I've been upset about him also. I haven't heard from him since the day he left town. That long ago? Now I'm really worried. Let's not panic. I mean, it's Timmy. He's probably just busy. And the phone lines are still down since the storms. Faye? Faye, are you still there? Faye? Faye, are you still there? Don't forget that blue ski sweater. It's packed, Mom. Along with my earmuffs. Come on, you can't call me every morning to check on my wardrobe. Can she, Dad? Uh, she just needs a little time to get used to the idea. Uh. On the other hand, I can't wait to get rid of you. Come on. You know I think this is going to be a wonderful experience. Big city, lots of opportunity, being out on your own. I'm your mother. I'm going to miss you. That's nice to hear. Now, both of you, get out. It's still my room, and I need to finish packing. Get out. It's not a slum, Ma. It's great. You're really gonna like it. Two guys I met on a day job helped me move in. And... Oh! I, uh, got a job from that ad I told you I was putting in the newspaper. Oh, that's terrific, honey. Your dad's gonna be glad to hear all this. I'm really glad that you guys are happy with the house. I think it's terrific. So I'm glad we were able to find something. Could you stop that for a minute? Oh, sorry. The leak is fixed. My man's almost done here. And, of course, the seller's going to pay for the repair. So That's it okay. should be ready by... Tomorrow. Excellent. Great. That's great. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. okay. No, no problem. problem. Thank okay. you. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. I, uh... I want to thank you for going that extra mile for me. My clients are anal retentive, and if everything isn't perfect, they want to. What are you grinning at? The way you talk, the way you look, makes a man smile. Hey. 
Do you want to go for a coffee? Now that I'm finished, now that I went that extra mile. You look like you could use a cold beer instead. place this quaint since college days. <laughs> so, Tim, if you own your own company, what are you doing a little patchwork job like mine for? I don't own my own company. I fake that in my ad. I'm a subcontractor. I keep myself and two other guys busy. But I got plans. One of these days, I'm going to own my own business. Initiative. I like that in a man. All I need is my contractor's license, and then I'm gonna slay the dragon. <laughs> That's what my dad calls it. <laughs> you know the real reason that I took the job? I flipped over your voice on the phone. You know how to dance? Match made in heaven by an angel on high From a soft proposition to his gentle reply A gentle admission of long Been trying to find life Time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Well, there you go. <laughs> her name is Carolyn Ma, and I am crazy about her. You just met her. True, but that's all gonna change. This time I just have this feeling. That's what you said about your last girlfriend. And the one before that. And Janet and Judy before her. At least Carolyn doesn't start with a J. Cheap shot, Ma. Look, she is smart and funny. She owns her own business, real estate. Okay, okay. You convinced me. I give up. Did I mention she's beautiful? <laughs> no, really? breath actually stop <laughs> no i just got back from jogging uh-huh uh my boyfriend i mean my appointment <laughs> I, no I, I i didn't say boyfriend mom I, no actually i i have um <clears throat> I, I have to go mom i have to go to my appointment mom I, i'm hanging up now <laughs> goodbye mother <laughs> Why is it that the guys that I hire never live up to my expectations? You know, no matter who you have working for you, you are a compulsive overachiever. Well, I wish you'd get your real estate license and give up this paralegal thing. And break my father's heart? How is he? He's losing weight again. Jenny? Doctors think he's not in remission anymore. I'm sorry. Listen, I didn't want to get all weepy, so let's just change the subject. Okay. 
So, how's your mystery man? Hmm? So when am I going to get to meet this Timmy guy who's been calling the office for the past month? You serious? Well, oh, most of the guys I date are yuppie narcissists. <laughs> but this guy is different. It's 180 degrees. <laughs> He's the rough-hewn romantic type. His hands are calloused. And he has a body that would make you weep. <laughs> <laughs> Tim has told me so much about you. I can't wait to meet you. Mrs. Dolan? Faye. Call me Faye. Since you can't come here, I thought I would introduce myself over the phone. You know, because that way when a woman answered, you wouldn't feel so... Shocked. Yeah. I know this is hard. I mean, my mother feels the same way. It's too soon, it's too soon. But it's not like we're getting married. We're just moving in together. I mean, don't you think that's better? So when you go on a date, do you go in his pickup truck, all dressed up? Mother, would you tell him to stop? All I'm doing is trying to put two and two together. I mean, if you're embarrassed, we... You know, Kevin, when was the last time that a woman even looked at you twice? Stop it. Both of you. Get out of there. You're doing it wrong. And stop picking at the caviar. Kevin's right, you know. I don't understand your connection with this carpenter. It's a pheromonal. What? It's a chemical reaction, Mother. Uh-huh. He is not your type. Well, I've had the other type, and they're not what they're cracked up to be. Tim makes me laugh. And he's kind, and he's handsome. And I don't care if he doesn't wear a tie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me think she does protest too much. Your father and I did not send you to college and set you up in business so that you could regress. We taught you to set your sights higher. What is with you people? I'm not supposed to drink. It's my liver. You can feel it. Here. Hard as a rock. So, of course, the missus puts me on cocktail duty. Where's the fairness in that, huh? I guess it's not, sir. Are you want me to take over? No. No, no. Martinis are my specialty. Fish? Your pardon? Do you fish? No. Golf? Uh, sorry. Well, what do you play? Well, I don't. Work keeps me pretty busy. Donald! Donald! What is taking those martinis so long? <laughs> is he talking your ear off? No. We've just been chatting about how much we have in common. <laughs> You've been drinking. Has he been drinking? Uh, um. been drinking all along stop it like a sneak not in front of the company helen don't you walk away from me i am not through with you oh. how dare you how dare um, stop it. maybe we should go no stay they'll work it out <laughs> <laughs> anyway mom's making duck you have to stay for the duck mm -hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. Come on, you're thinking about something. Okay. It's your mother. She hit him. Don't you think that's a little... extreme? She lost it. He saw her. You don't know what you're talking about. I know what I saw. I'm sorry. I don't want to fight. Honey. Come on. Stay away from me. Carolyn, you don't have to I just... said stop. All I am saying is maybe your mother needs some kind of help. You don't... Where do you get off? Carolyn. Hey, don't walk away from me. Can't you just listen to me for a second? Let go. Calm down. Let I'm sorry I hurt you. 
Okay, Anna. I made you mad. I'm not like that. I know. I know. I want to make it up to you. I'm going to have a shiner where your ring caught me. <laughs> now, why would you say something like that after I said I was sorry? You don't understand the pressure that I'm under. My family, my business. Pressure to put on myself. Sometimes I feel like I'm carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders. And then when you held my hands, I just, I just felt helpless and it's when I lost it. Just tell me you love me and it'll be all right. I love you. Come on, Tim. Before it snows, all right? All right, all right. Come on. Take it. What's going on? It's Jimmy Dolan. Yeah? I won the lottery, man. Your girlfriend sent me so. Whether you want it or not, it's paid. <clears throat> all right? <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Looks like you're into a pretty good thing with this Carolyn, huh? Yeah. So what's up with the eye, Timmy? How come you haven't told us? I've got my own theory since he isn't talking. And what's that, Einstein? Sex. <laughs> I mean, you gotta be having wild sex for us to be getting this kind of attention. It happened to me once. I whacked my head on one of those knobs on a brass headboard. Ugh. Come on, guys, knock it off. <laughs> We're just joking, Timmy. I'm not paying you guys to be comedians. <laughs> That's the problem, Tim. You're not paying us. You know, I think he's right. What's up with our checks? Don't worry, you guys are gonna get paid. Come on, let's finish this up. The contractor I was working for skipped. I can't find him anywhere. He owes me and I have to pay my guys. One of them has a kid. I'll talk to your father. Short-term loan. And only if you can afford it. Honey, why aren't you calling from home? I... I didn't want Carolyn to get worried. You're a couple now. You're supposed to be able to discuss things like this. I know. She'll think I can't keep my end up. We've been discussing marriage. Marriage? Timmy, we haven't even met this girl. Well, then come up for the weekend. Visit. I'd really like that, Mom. Hey, Jen. How are you? Hey. Carolyn's out showing the house. What happened to you? Ran to a door? As a matter of fact, I did. <laughs> I'm kind of clumsy myself. <laughs> so, how's your father? Doctors can't do anything else for him. Hey, I didn't mean to get you all upset. I, um, bought this for him. He said he liked classical. Hey, it's gonna work out. I gotta believe. Okay? I gotta believe. trying to make a fool of me? I mean, why'd she ask me to come if she's gonna do this? Well, she's just being Carolyn. Well, she's networking. Oh, who is that guy? She's just talking, Timmy. You didn't answer me. He's a mortgage broker. She's in real estate. They do a lot of business together. Looks like more than that. He used to be her boyfriend. This kid is divine. So, uh, you come down there and see me. It's a great place. Can we talk?
We have to go now. I'm not going anywhere. We have to pick up my parents at the airport. I don't have to do anything. I'll meet you. <laughs> Sunny trip. Sunny trip. <laughs> this is lovely. Uh, let me. Well, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad we're finally here. Uh, it means a lot to us. And what you've done with this place is amazing. Yeah, but what I want to know is how you kept him here from hanging his basketball hoop. <laughs> <laughs> I put on a pot of coffee. Tim knows where everything is. I'm really sorry, but I have to rush off. I have business at the office. This late? Good night. Um, if you'll excuse me for a minute. My parents came down to meet you. I told them we were talking about marriage. Whatever. Give me the keys. You're going out to meet that guy. We work together. We have business together. Your mom said he's your ex-boyfriend. Is he? Give me the keys! Don't talk to me! What is your problem? Michael? No! You better go down there and do something. God, just get away from me! No, no, do stop! What is your problem? No. Tim! Timmy! Stop, stop it! Stop it! Stop it, son! Stop it! Now, what is going on here? This... This is embarrassing for your mother. Sorry, Mom. Sorry. Good night. Smells awfully good in here. Where's Dad? Bacon and eggs, and your dad's gone for a walk. Oh. No time for breakfast, Ma. Gotta see a man about some work. You know, it's none of my business what you're fighting about. We're working it out, Faye. When you get married, you make a life commitment. The stakes are higher. Do you love my son? I do, very much. That's good. Because he deserves to be loved. Sometimes he relies on others too much, but he, he's a good man. He'll find his way. You worry about us too much. You know, I wish that my mother talked about me this way. Stop it, you'll make me cry. <laughs> You're leaving tomorrow. You know, I'm gonna take you shopping. I know this wild shop that Becky is just gonna love. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you. We hope this brings you some luck. It's gonna get better, Mom. Don't worry, my work is good. People are gonna see that. I hate to see you struggling like this. It's not fair. Mom, come on. Don't spoil your visit. I want you guys to go away feeling good. I know you do. Okay, then I guess I'll just shut up. <laughs> <laughs>
Sorry, guys. Let's go. Okay. I'll call you as soon as I get something. Let me get this. Cool. Sorry. We got rained out. Drizzled for five minutes. Building slow out there now. Is it slow or it got rained out? Which one is it? Uh, yeah, okay, go on, Mama. You gotta fix something for dinner. Don't be upset. I'll take you out. With what? It looks like I'm gonna have to push you through your life. Oh, very cruel. When I met you, I thought you had ambition. I should have my head examined. I'll make something, okay? Carolyn, I spent all day looking for work. Look, I don't want to hear any of your excuses. There's not excuses. No, you take money from your parents and you're living off of me. Look, I've had it. I want, I want you out of my life. Scared the life out of me. What are you doing here? Why aren't you in Chicago? Um, we had a fight. We needed a break. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. No, oh, it's okay. You sure? You all mm. right? Yeah. <laughs> you scared the life out of me. I'm sorry. I'll get you some fresh towels. You have to tell me what happened. Well, it's not Carolyn's fault. It's mine. I keep screwing up. She says I don't follow through on anything. You say the same thing. And you're both right. Oh, where'd you get those? What? Oh. At work. I fell. I was gonna phone you. 
first. Don't say anything. I got the idea watching the news. They had a lot of damage upstate and they're gonna need crews for cleanup. They're paying good money. Mm. I don't want you to go. You want an ambitious husband. Mm. I'm gonna show you what I can do. You don't have to do this. My dad's gonna float me alone for chainsaws and equipment. I can get Frankie and Dom to go if I promise them the big bucks. And then I just popped the question and she said yes. So really glad you could come. It means a lot to Carol. She wants us all to be a close family. Hi! Hi! How are you? Fine. It's good to see you. Can I get that? I know you think we're completely crazy, but we're doing the right thing. Just before I just got upset and I'm just completely in love with your son and I can't imagine going through life without him. Are we all ready? <laughs> yeah. Mom, after you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope your flight was okay. Fine. Oh, we have so much to do in so little time. Um, this afternoon I thought we'd go to the hall and then tomorrow I made an appointment at the bridal shop. Hurry. Is there something I should know? <laughs> no, Mom. She is not pregnant. Anybody, but you two have worn me out. Well, we got a lot done today. You know what I wish? That you could stay here longer with us. Me too. It's been terrific fun. I was uh, loading up equipment. I would have changed, except Carolyn said, don't be late. I love meeting your mother, Timmy. She likes you too, Mrs. Blair. A wedding guest list is a very important Boy, thing. The it's the rabbit. <laughs> oh. Um, do you want to <laughs> Who's winning? Sure. I am. Oh, why am I not surprised? You are. You're late. What is he doing here? Well, he's Kevin's friend too. Be nice. Be nice to him? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Guest list, wedding, family. Am I missing something here? Look, I don't want to talk about this now. This is supposed to be fun. Carolyn. Don't. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the dining room and we'll start the list. We'll talk about this later. Hey, <laughs> How could you bring him? Don't you tell me who I can have in my house. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm the guy you're about to marry. Oh, so that just gives you the right to tell me what to do? What the oh. so sick of you. Stop, Carolyn. Stop. I, I am not going to take it anymore. I, just, I can't stand it. What is I your can't problem? Stand you. you need help. I hate you. Hey. 
She's not here. Yeah, I know that. Jim, could you do me a favor and give this to Carolyn? I just got word where emergency crews are supposed to meet. She'll be back in any minute. I'm sure she'd like to see you. No, no, that's not a good idea. You want to talk about it? Just tell her if she needs to reach me that that's the first time we'll be stopping in. What's up? I gave my notice. I don't know how long my father has and he needs me. I don't think I'll be back for a while, so... Good luck. Thanks. So, uh, am I gonna see you tonight? You swear you're not married? Oh, you got me confused with my partner over there. See, he's the one who's engaged. Tonight, I'll be at Johnny V's. All right. Time flies and you just know Time to think about letting go Time's even forgot to be blue Big feet to shovel them sand Leave no trail but slip right through your hand Done every little thing I know what to do But I have not forgotten I have not forgotten No, you never listen on his side. She's got a nice girlfriend. No way. Oh, come on. I thought we came out to party. I got a problem. Yeah? Yeah, you do. Your problem is since we've been here, you've been in a funk with Carolyn. What, cold feet? Second thoughts. Well, have you tried calling her since we've been here? No. We had a knockdown drag out, man. I can't take it anymore. For the first time in my life, I'm seeing things clearly. Carolyn has it all. Beauty, brains, personality. Unfortunately, she also has the temper of a serial killer. It's over. I have to tell her. I'm in a relationship from hell. persons? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll transfer. Jack? What's up? Remember that woman who's been calling in that missing persons report from Hartford? Yeah. Yeah, well, she isn't in Hartford anymore. Mr. Dolan? Oh, hello, Mrs. Dolan. I'm Detective Jack Knox. We spoke on the phone, I believe. I'm here about my son. Uh, 
You understand, Mrs. Dolan, that it isn't against the law for an adult to disappear. Oh, not Timmy. He'd call. He always calls. <sighs> you said he was working the storm cleanup. Now, the phone lines are still down in a lot of that area. He'd find a way. Have you checked with his girlfriend? She's his fiance. And as I told you on the phone, she hasn't heard from him either. Well, think about it, Mrs. Dolan. A young guy, probably got a pocket full of money, sowing some wild oats before the wedding. Timmy wouldn't do that. <sighs> Look, there's not a lot I can do here, not without some signs of foul play. Now, I'm sorry you had to make the trip. You couldn't be more wrong about my son. I hope I'm not bothering you. Come in. When did you get here? I came to fill out a missing person's report on Timmy. You can't do that from out of state. Well, where's Michael? Oh, he had to work and somebody had to stay with Becky. Oh, Carolyn. I'm afraid something really awful has happened. Now you're making me nervous. The police were no help at all. I don't know what to do. I keep having this dream. I need to know where he is, that he's all right. I need answers. He'll show up. You have to believe that. Now, where are your things? At the motel. Well, we're going to get them. You're staying here. Oh, no, I couldn't. You're staying here for as long as you need. Thank you. Body come with that? No, sir. Did you sleep okay last night? No. Oh, the bed was fine. Thank you. It's, uh, I haven't had a good night's sleep for a couple weeks now. Did you take anything? No. What? Something's different. Oh, <laughs> I changed the furniture. I thought I was losing my mind. I didn't even notice it last night. Well, it was dark and you're upset. You got a new carpet, too. Oh, <laughs> they were having this incredible sale and I couldn't resist. So. What's your plan? About Timmy. Carolyn, what's going on here? You're redecorating? You're going about your life as if nothing happened? Timmy is missing. You never even reported it to the police. This is really hard for me to say. We broke up. You promise me that you won't hate me for telling you this? Uh. Tim got physical with me. We had a fight, and that's when he left for the storm cleanup. And until you had called, I thought he had told you. I was so embarrassed. I just, he left some things here, and I just assumed that he would come back. should have come to us sooner, Faye. I know that things haven't always been so great between our children. Mother, I already told her that we fought. Let's just leave it at that. 
their breakup was, well, acrimonious. So tell me, Faye, what did you accomplish today? Unfortunately, nothing. I had to show houses today, so she was stuck in the condo. Maybe Carolyn could make a list of Timmy's friends. You know his friends. Well, I don't know a lot of them. But I know some of them. I could do that. There, you see? A plan. Okay, you're gonna need one of these. Do you have your bus schedule? I'm fine. I'm sorry that I can't do that. I understand. Go see your client. Um, dinner tonight. Cafe Topaz. Would you know uh, Dominic Santos? Hey, Dominic! Go! Thanks, Dominic. You can call me Dom. Everybody does. You call me Dominic, it's like I'm automatically in trouble like with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dom. Uh, sorry to bother you here at work, but we're at our wit's end. Listen, I like Jimmy, but I haven't seen him. And if I have, I would have told you. Because if it was me, I would want my mom all freaked. Um, Timmy left town with some guy to work the storm. You know anything about that? Who the guy is? That'd be, um, Frankie. Frankie, I don't know his last name. And where would I find this Frankie? I can't. You know what you said about your mom? I'm starting to freak. This is the number where I'm staying. Please, help me try to find Frankie. Call me. Thanks, Tom. Faye. Hey. Oh, I can't sell anything, and another salesman left me today. I'm sorry. How was your day? Did you find anything out? I took four buses. I know Chicago better than drivers. And I only found one of Timmy's friends. If you send enough positive energy out there, it'll happen. I know that. When that little son of a bitch calls me, I'm gonna give him holy hell. <laughs> he would have called me if he was going away. But that close. Tim and I used to play frisbee over there. You said used to as if Timmy was gone. Meant used to, as in we used to have a relationship with him. I didn't mean anything, I'm sorry. It's okay. What was your last fight about? Same fight we had in the parking lot. And you say he got violent? I don't want to talk about this. I need to know. Tim and I were having problems. I started to see my ex-boyfriend. Why you were still with Timmy? I know. When Tim found out he got crazy. Faye, I, you don't want to hear this. I do. He pulled my hair and he tried to put my face down on the burner of the stove. What are you talking about? That's not my son. I can't sleep. 
How you holding up? Okay. A any luck at all today? No. How's Becky? Is she all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Becky's fine. And school's fine, work's fine. Look, what's, what's the trouble, Faye? I can't sleep. Dreams. Huh? It's very difficult. This business about Timmy being violent. I told the detective that they broke up. I don't understand why he hasn't called me. Well, maybe he's just so embarrassed about what happened with Carolyn. Is she being helpful? No, she's giving me as much time as she can. She has a business to run. The numbers match on the truck, Faye. If you're up to it, I'd like you to come down to the impoundment yard and complete the identification for me. Oh, God. She's not. I'll go. Oh, I, I have to see the truck. It's the closest I've been able to get to him since he disappeared. paint scraped off. The same reason the license tags were removed. Whoever did it was trying to make it harder to identify. So what are you telling me? Can I be straight with you? If somebody stole it for parts, the parts would be gone. If somebody stole it for a joyride, I don't think they'd bother with paint removal. Something happened to Timmy. Well, I'm not ready to make that leap yet, Faye. Let's just say your son's case has gotten my attention. Isn't there anything more you can tell us? I'm afraid not. Of course, we'd know a lot more if it hadn't been sitting in the water for three weeks. What do you do now? And finally, an update on that pickup truck that was recovered from a shipping channel in Lake Michigan. The truck has been traced to a Timothy Dolan, who has been missing from the Chicago area for three weeks. Anyone with knowledge of his whereabouts should contact the police department immediately. I thought it best if we talked away from Mrs. Dolan. Well, last time I saw Tim Dolan, we had a fight. He left. He said he had some work clearing trees. You, uh, going somewhere? Well, I had to let go of my salesman. He didn't produce. And my secretary had to take care of her father. This place is simply too big for me. Did Timmy have any enemies? Did? Did. Don't you get the gist? No. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we traveled in different circles. I don't know if he had any enemies. Drugs? Alcohol, if you count that. Would you have known if he was doing drugs on the slide? What are you implying? That he had some kind of secret life? Did or does? Never mind. Was he ever violent with people? With you? Do you get off on this? He beat me. This is... 
Hello? Hello? Give me this number in case I can get in touch with the guy Timmy went out of town with. All right. The only reason I'm talking to you is because I like Timmy, okay? Please, tell me where he is. <laughs> Beats me, and we came back three weeks ago, and that's all I know. We were supposed to head out a couple days later, but uh, Timmy never picked me up. Three weeks ago? Yeah, I know it was around then because I had to come here to see my parole officer. And Timmy was coming back to break up with his girlfriend. He said he finally had a plan to put his life together. Go figure. He saw Carolyn? Well, like I say, he dropped me off. Why don't I believe you? All right. I'll tell you what. We got a ticket on the way back. You check it out with the cops, all right? Carolyn said Timmy was violent with her. Was he? <laughs> oh, man, it was just the opposite. You see, he told me a lot about her. He always had bruises and stuff. Hell, I even seen her go off on him in the parking lot outside. She was punching him through the car window, and he was just standing there taking it. The police should know about this. Will you come with me? No, ma'am. I'm sorry. If my parole officer found out I violated by leaving town, I'm back in prison. I'm sorry. What's going on? Why did you lie to me about Timmy coming back three weeks ago? I didn't. I talked to Frankie. He said Timmy came back to break up with you. He's lying. And did he lie when he said you were the violent one? Frankie is a drug addict who wouldn't remember three weeks ago any more than he would remember three minutes ago. I believe him. Who are you calling, the police? I was calling a cab. I got it. The fifth of March. They're uh, in the dining room having lunch. Is there a problem? Mr. Blair, Mr. Blair, sorry for the interruption. It's come to our attention through a traffic ticket that Tim Dolan was in town on the 5th of March. Did you see him? No. Well, to your knowledge, did your daughter see him? No. Look, Sergeant. Detective. Don't you think it's strange that Tim would return and not see your daughter? I don't think I like the innuendo I'm hearing, Detective. Excuse me? So the morgue search turns up nothing. The contacts in the area turned up nothing. And nobody saw the guy when he got back. Except Frankie. The guy left with Dolan, right? Well, maybe Dolan came back with a wad of cash. And Frankie, the ex-con, did him. The mind is a terrible thing. What did they say? They were indignant. I'm sure they were. You remember you told me if I thought of anything else. Well, Carolyn just got some new furniture and a new rug. Maybe I'm missing something here. Touch his grand's desk. But there was nothing wrong with the old furniture. It looked brand new. Just me, please. Jack, line two. Tell him I'm busy. I'll call back. You better take this one. Detective Mass. I may have some information about Timothy Dolan. Why don't we ask you a couple more questions, Miss Blair? 
No. I'd love to help in any way possible. you characterize your relationship with Tim? I told you we were engaged. Yes, but you also told me that you hadn't seen him. But you see, I have information that he returned. I also told you that we broke up. Miss Blair, were you ever violent with Tim Dolman? No, it was the other way around. What's he doing? What's he doing? Just looking around, Miss Blair. That's all right, isn't it? This isn't legal. You invited us in. I really think it's best if you leave. If uh, you want to uh, change your story, get something off your chest, my number. What do you got? Several spots, uh, show traces of blood. Hey, I thought I asked you to wait downtown. What's going on? What did you find out? Let's talk about a downtown thing. We'll talk downtown. Is Carolyn here? We believe Timmy was the victim of foul play. She killed him. I knew it. my duty. I came forward. We need to hear her incriminate herself. Will you wear a wire for us? I don't want to be around her. I think she may be a killer. That frightens the hell out of me. I need to get Carolyn on tape for a search warrant. Help us out here. Can you force me to? for a minute, alone. You know what I was thinking about out there? For most of my adult life, I've had a son. I was uh, 18 when I got married. Do you know how old Timmy was? 26. Try to imagine the, the emptiness I feel. He was a good boy. You know how good he was. He told me about your father's illness. That's why I didn't come sooner. I'm sorry. Timmy brought me presents for him. CDs. Book ones. You know death now, Jenny. We both do. We both know how final it is. You think that Carolyn Blair took Timmy away from us? 
But you told the police that much. Jenny. If this evil goes unpunished, we'll never feel anything but emptiness. Please. of the crime. What else don't I know? Faye, we're working on a good relationship here. Let's not spoil it. Need to know. We agreed. I think it's time we put some pressure on these people. Mrs. Blair, this is Faye Dolan. Are you doing all right, Faye? Carolyn told us that you and she had a falling out. Falling out? I can't tell you how difficult this call is. The police think Jimmy is dead. Dead? Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll pray for you. Is there anything that we can do? They also think Carolyn was involved. Of course, that's preposterous. I think she was involved too. I'm sorry that you feel that way. We'll pray for you. I've been calling every relationship and every friend that I've ever had. <laughs> Doctor's been prescribing sedatives. They're not helping. <laughs> I don't deserve this. that I knew whatever Timmy set his mind to, he would fail. Why couldn't I just walk away? When <laughs> mm, Tim was good, he was marvelous. How's that nursery room go? And when he was bad, he made me lose control. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> You'll feel better. Can't do that. You can. Carolyn. Tell me what happened. Carolyn. Tim had only been gone a week. When he just showed up one night. What are you doing? You're supposed to be working. I came back for my things.
You're leaving? Just let me get my things. I made up my mind. I'm going to do this. Don't you walk away from me. What is more important, me or your stuff? I, I don't want to hurt you. I don't even know if it will hurt you. But I have to take responsibility for myself. Oh, so you found someone? I didn't find anybody. You lying son of a bitch! <laughs> You need help, and it's the kind I can't provide. I don't want to fight anymore, Carolyn. Ever. I don't have the energy. He was trying to reach the phone. He's still alive.
Yeah. Ma'am, you're not allowed in here. This is my house. We have a search warrant. Wait. Look what you care for, Kirk. I want presumptive test done for blood in the kitchen on that wall. Up all the way. Would you cut me some slack on this one? Hey, and Michael Dolan, I'd like to introduce Paul Blackwell of the state attorney's office. Right. Thank you. Detective Moss should have told you we don't have a body, we don't have a case. As a matter of fact, we don't even have a weapon. What we do have is Carolyn on tape, in her own words. We can prove Timmy was in town because of the traffic ticket he got. The blood in the condo is his, no doubt. He lived there, he could have cut himself. Oh, that's a load of bull and you know it. Well, that's gonna be your defense and you know it. Translation? It doesn't look good on their one loss record come election time. Jurors in this county don't give up guilty verdicts without hard evidence. Well, what he's trying to tell you is that his office has had, uh, what, one murder conviction on circumstantial evidence in the past uh, two years? Fine, since you brought it up, what happens if a body does show up? After she's acquitted, she skates. Let the grand jury decide that. That body has a name. Timothy Michael Dolan. Oh, of course. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I don't know anything about rules of evidence, as you call them. But I do know one thing. This is as close as we're ever going to get. Uh, Mrs. Dolan, do you understand what double jeopardy is? I don't give a damn about double jeopardy. We want justice. If this drags on, and these people are allowed to believe they got away with it, what happens next? What happens the next time Carolyn is mad at her boyfriend, or God forbid, someday her child? I'm so glad you're here. Oh, hi, darling. How was your flight? It was good. How's it going in there? Well, we don't know yet. The attorneys are just um, presenting the evidence to the grand jury. Why don't they just arrest them? This is the only way they can get the Blairs to trial without Timmy's body. Have they called you yet? Yeah, both of us. Thank you, Jim. <gasps> this is our daughter, Becky. Oh, hi. A lot about you, Mr. Dolan. A friend of mine called from the courthouse. The grand jury's meeting as we speak. If they indict Carolyn with the murder and disposal of the body, that negates my ability to use self-defense as a strategy. You have to know that. What are you telling me? Killing him to protect yourself is one thing. But not calling the cops, not doing the right thing, how am I going to explain that to a jury? You're going to have to step up and admit to the dumping of the body, or there's a good chance she's going to do big time. What could they have? Your daughter on tape. They can place the Dolan kid. And they have good blood evidence. But you people didn't do a very good job of cleaning up after yourselves. Well, you have to excuse me. I'm a little rusty at murder scenes. I've come for your daughter, Mrs. Blair. Grand jury has 
indicted you for the murder of Timothy Michael Dolan. Carolyn Blair, you are under arrest. Can I bring her downtown with our lawyer? No. But I can't stop you from following us to headquarters. Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. daughter to me and all the while you and your loving family knew my son was at the bottom of the lake you took away a good and loving boy you took him away when he was just beginning to live This will be good. Stop the boat, please. Yes, sir. Okay, Faye? As all right as I'm going to be. Tell me we did right by him. We raised our child to be good, caring, to love life. That's all any parent can do. That's all you could have done. about the heights of love or the darkness of desire. Affairs of the heart. 